hello everyone welcome again and uh, let's uh, start the java development java web development tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to cover the complete uh, web development using jsp servlet and mysql so uh, the very first thing you need to install or set up in your machine before you start the development three main thing that you need uh, to start the development with Java so uh, in some video in some upcoming video we'll set up all the things all the IDs and database then we'll move to technologies and then start the development so the very first thing that you need an ID an ID to write the code so we have option to write the, to use ID like we can use Eclipse we have STS tool or we can use NetBeans so these three tools are optional you can use any one of them Eclipse is also good and STS is also too good I will prefer the STS tool or Eclipse so in all the videos next thing that you need a database that will be your database database is like you can use mysql <coughs> so mysql will be the server and to view or operate or perform the operation we are going to use mysql workbench and the third thing that we need for this is server for server we are going to use tomcat 8.5 version so uh, the first thing you need to install ID database and Tomcat so let me show you a quick view a uh, quick demo how can you install these things in your machine so just I will provide a link in the description box or you can search over the Google Java web configuration Java web project configuration you will find this link here also will put the link with the video so you can directly redirect on the on this page and uh, the first thing okay we missed the one thing is we need a Java also installed in your machine so you must make sure the Java is installed on your machine as ZDK you can install any version but it should be more than 1.1.8 okay so here when you navigate to this link you will get how can you install jdk it means java so these are the steps also you can follow this video these are the video tutorial with the practical so you can follow this it will help you to install jdk if you have already installed jdk just verify uh, to go to this particular location in your system c program files java and verify this folder is available there jdk next thing the second step we need id so uh, I'm gonna show you how can you install STS or the process will be same for Eclipse also so you can download the STS from this link or from the official side of STS you download according to your system like you are using Windows or Mac or Linux so for window user you can click on the zip icon it will directly download it and it will download in the zip folder <coughs> so just extract the folder and run this icon okay uh, open the exit folder STS and whatever the release you are going to download it currently release is 4.0 I guess when uh, 4.1 when I'm going to record this video and the next thing is the video steps are available with this uh, video so you can follow this step as well and just you need to follow this two step for the to download and install uh, IDE and in Java then you can skip this part and now just move to the database configuration download this complete mysql folder and install and set up the complete <coughs> mysql so this video will help you to install download and install all the required things and that's it and the next thing is the server configuration so you need to download server so you directly you can download the server tomcat 8.5 from this link and then I will show you in some upcoming videos how can you import and use this server when you're going to run the project okay so I hope you understand like how can you be download and install these things so let me show you some view how it will look like so when you're going to download 
the SDS and you need to run it will look like this and when you have done with MySQL setup you will get this MySQL workway in 6.0 so let me run it Okay, so just enter it into the connection and we'll operate all the operations, all the database operations here. And just download the server also and keep it at the location. Also, uh, we'll provide one more link in the description so you can check this link. This link will help you to step by step guide to uh, install all the things, all the required things. and. So, in the next in the next video, we'll discuss about the, uh, the all the technologies that we are going to use in entire web series. So you can follow them and start the development of the Java pro web project. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please start the setup. If you are facing any issue, you can comment me or you can uh, message me directly. So we'll help you to set up this thing. Just you need to follow this.